It's amazing how some games released a few years back can still feel so fresh and innovative, but such is the case for our game picks for you today. In this video, we bring you 10 best offline games for Android and iOS with brilliant graphics and immersive gameplay experience. Hello gamers, this is Maud, and welcome back to another video of Alternative Gaming. If you're ready to be dazzle yourself with some breathtaking mobile games, then check out these high graphic games we have selected just for you. Starting off at number 10, Lost Within. This is an atmospheric horror game with great graphics, an interesting storyline, and really frightening scenes. Your dangerous adventure takes place at an abandoned mental hospital, which was once a hell of a world ruled by Dr. Primrose. He made a mad experimental drugs and directly took patients as test subjects, but no one ever dared to expose his crimes. You will begin your dangerous journey as a cop breaking into the madhouse. Here, you will need to collect the evidence left over and find a way out of this scary place. What you don't know is that all the remnants of the experiments are still stuck here. It is a combination of both action and detective elements, and if you are a fan of horror games, you cannot afford to miss the superhero. Moving right along to number 9, Chaos Rings 3. This is a turn-based Japanese RPG published by Square Enix and the fourth game of the Chaos Rings series. The story begins with you as the protagonist whose goal is to follow your father's footsteps in becoming an explorer and discovering paradise. You were at first guided by a strange entity called Mariv who appeared to you in your dreams. Although your younger sister is initially doubtful and unsupportive of this, she eventually decides to come with you to help you settle down. The game has character design that reminds you of the Kingdom Hearts series and has a story flow much like our favorite Final Fantasy. It's a shame that the game doesn't have controller support, but you can deal. Overall, it may come at a premium price, but if you're looking for a premium RPG experience, then this is it. Next up at number 8, Deus Ex The Fall. This is an action role-playing video game developed by N-Fusion Interactive, a spin-off of the Deus Ex series and was published by Square Enix. The gameplay combines first-person shooter, stealth, and role-playing elements, featuring exploration and combat in Panama City and quests which grant experience and allows customization of the main character's abilities. Overall, it's got great graphics and compelling storyline that keeps you engaged with the game. At number 7, we have Mission Berlin. This is a third-person action game where you played two main characters from the movie The Man from Uncle. The game is set in a city that can be explored freely. You select one of the characters, each one has his own unique abilities, which will get better as you continue playing. You have to improve your health, aim, and stiltiness in order to overcome the most difficult challenges. In addition, you can get new weapons like machine guns, rifles, and laser cutters. If you enjoy a 3D sandbox game that's similar to the GTA series, then this is what you're looking for. Next up at number 6, The Last Remnant. The game is set in a fictional world inhabited by four different species. Multiple city-states exist, which may be considered fractions, while the world is quite magical. We come in as Rush Sykes, who is of the human race and who searches for his sister. War rages on and this is in and of itself poses a challenge for us, as well as discovering the mystery of her disappearance. Overall, it's a really nice looking game. It's certainly a full-fat RPG with its main story taking a legitimate 60 plus hours to clear, and a side content adding a fair bit on top of that. It has some really interesting gameplay systems and story. If you've been thirsty for a big high-budget single-player RPG to play on your mobile device, this game will certainly quench that thirst. Moving on to number 5, Oddworld Stranger's Wrath. The game details the adventures of Stranger, a fearsome bounty hunter. Throughout the game, Stranger pursues and captures outlaws in order to collect bounties. The goal is to ultimately earn enough moolah to pay for a mysterious life-saving operation. One of the most notable features is the live ammunition system. 
which is ammunition made of living creatures like fictional insects and small mammals, each with different uses and effects against enemies. The game incorporates many role-playing elements in the form of rewards spent on crossbow, ammunition, storage, and armor upgrades, and other items such as binoculars and knuckle dusters. Overall, the graphics are good and the gameplay is very engaging. At number 4, Captain Sabretooth. Captain Sabretooth Lamarama is a game based on the plot of a long-known movie. You have to spend in numerous adventures and battles. You can control various ships and surf the seas and oceans, but you need to be careful as many opponents will be on your way. The game offers both great gameplay and really amazing 3D graphics. It offers complete pirate adventures, including sailing, sea battles, sword fights, treasure hunts, obstacle courses, and lots of exciting quests, representing a unique game experience for all ages. Moving right along to number 3, Lily, Child of Geos. Lily is a quirky adventure RPG hybrid with stunning visuals, silky smooth graphics, a cinematic storyline, and a fresh new way to deal with enemies. On the mysterious islands of Geos, Lily will meet a number of hilarious locals, explore beautiful environments, solve puzzles, and even challenge an oppressive regime or two along her way. Overall, with its amazing 3D graphics, it is no doubt to be one of the best games on mobile today. Closing in at number 2, we have Monster Hunter Stories. Monster Hunter Stories is a role-playing video game developed and published by Capcom. The game starts with the main character and their friends, Cheval and Lilia, looking for a monster egg. They find a nest with one and it hatches into a Rathalus that bonds with the main character almost immediately. However, upon returning to Hakum village, it is attacked by a rampaging Nargakuga possessed by a sickness called the Black Light. Your goal is to journey to look for the egg of a legendary white dragon in order to stop the Black Blight. You assume the role of a rider who befriends monsters by stealing eggs and hatching them. The player then has the ability to name them, ride them, and have them join the player in battle. You will be able to explore different environments, encounter monsters in the field, battle them, collect items, and steal eggs from monsters' nests. Finally at number 1, we have Isenhorn Xenos. Isenhorn Xenos is a third-person science fiction action-adventure game produced and developed by Pixel Hero Games. Set in the Warhammer 40,000 universe, it is based on the novel Xenos, the first book of the trilogy. The gameplay centers around the Inquisition that moves amongst mankind like an avenging shadow striking down the enemies of humanity with complete ruthlessness. Imperial Inquestor Gregor Eisenhorn faces a vast interstellar cabal and the dark power of demons, all racing to recover an arcane text, an ancient tome known as the Necrotuk. Overall, it has amazing graphics and good storyline and is genuinely worthy of your time. <laughs> We hope you find a game that suits your interest from our list today. And if you like this video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribe as we upload new videos every week. As always, thank you for watching and keep it here on Alternative Gaming.